Here we are, Thursday, Thursday morning. And I thought we'd like we start lying down this morning, sort of start lying on your back. And I'm just wondering if we need anything. I think in terms of so, re, supplies, resources, stuff like that, um, a couple of blocks might be useful and maybe a blanket, right? But no, I don't think we need anything else. And just lie down on your back. We don't need a blanket on the start. We're not going to start with a blanket, but we'll start lying down. Sideways. And just take your arms out to the side. And wriggle your bum around, wriggle your hips around. So you can get as soft and spread, if you like, on the floor as you can. You want to get your body spread out on the ground a little bit. Oh. Take a deep in breath and breathe out through the mouth first of all. And make some sound out through the mouth. Oh. So we're going to do this kind of sigh of relief, the breath of relief sound. Breathing in through the nose. Nice double in breath and then breathe out. And as you breathe out, make some sound. Just let the body shake up and down on the ground. So we're going to get some shaking happening, particularly in the upper body. But it might happen anywhere else as well. So you breathe in. Ah, and, and find a way to get slowly get all the bits of you shaking the feet, the legs, the arms, the hands, the head. And we'll do this about for a nine, nine or ten breaths, something like that. Ah, and move if you need to. I know my arms are reaching over my head almost spontaneously, automatically, like a waking up stretch. So move any part you need to inhale and breathe out, just shake again. Ah, it's horizontal shaking, it's such a fantastic thing. It's in some ways so sweet. But you don't even have to work against gravity. Ah. 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 Really good, really good. Come on, Bess. I know so I've got my arms over the head, both of them now. Maybe if that feels right, you do that. One knee's bending, and then we're going to reach up through one side. So we're going to breathe in, reach up, the arms over the head if they're not already there. And reach up through one side, choose your side. Breathe in, reach up and open, and breathe into that side. So we're going into a lateral flexion, opening up the side of the body with the inhale. And then breathe out and just shake out of it again. Ah, oh, drop it. Then breathe into the other side, breathing in, reaching up on the other side. Open the side of the lungs up, the rib space. Just hold the breath for a moment and then breathe out and release. So another three times each side. Hold the breath when you come into the full inhale. Hold the breath for a moment. And then breathe out and release. And breath holding is doing so many things. One of the main things is doing is building up that carbon dioxide in the blood. We're actually getting the oxygen into the tissues then. In breath, in breath. Open as much as you can. Feel the back pressing into the floor. Feel the rib space is opening. Feel the sternum lifting off the ground. Open up that. Side of the lungs, all the lung lobes. I work with the left side, so the lung lobes are opening up. Feel them, and then release. Breathe out, and back to the first side again. Taking about a count of four or five to breathe in. So good, really full, steady breath into that thoracic breath here. And he's moving as well. But effort is going into opening up the upper chest, the side of the chest. And breathe out, release. Start the breath in the belly, belly breath. Feel the belly expand and then take it up into the side of the ribs. Into the back of the body as well. Breathe in, reach up, open, hold the breath, hold the breath, hold the breath and release. One more time, right? First side. 
That's the right time for me, but what a side is for you. Again, feel the belly opening first, and then the side of the ribs, into the back of the body, the back of the ribs, into the spine, so that's opening to the floor, the sternum's lifting, so you're feeling all these different pieces of breath movement happening as you breathe in, and the arms reaching up, you're reaching down through the foot, so the whole side of the body is opening up, inhale, hold the breath, reach, and then release everything with some sound. Ah, oh, shaky if it wants to. Again, left side, breathing in, or second side. Belly opening, chest opening, breathing into the back of the body, front of the body, reaching up through the, the arm, reaching down through the foot, all of the body, side of the body, opening up the breath, hold that, hold it, hold it a moment. And release that go. <sighs> oh. Let's do one more and go into the breath hold this time. So first side, breathing in, reaching up, extending up through the arm, through the hand, reaching down through the toes and the foot. So the whole of that side is opening, belly, the side of the ribs into the floor, and then hold the breath there. Just hold the breath. Now let go and just release. Ah, if you need to release before, do that. That's 25 seconds, and that's really good breath hold just for building up those carbon dioxide levels. So if you've got that 25 second breath hold there, that is amazing. We're going to go a bit longer, but we're going to do it again, I think. We're just building up a little bit more. Let's go into the other side now. Breathe into the other side, breathe in that open feeling. So extend down through the toes, up through the elbow, breathe into the belly first, the side of the ribs opening up. Breathing into the back body, breathing in, lifting the sternum up, feeling a whole open feeling on that side, and then hold the breath. And breathe out, release, let go. <sighs> you can take a couple of breaths, just wiggle the body, shake the body on the floor. Shake anything that will move, basically, with the breath, just move anything. <sighs> Make any kind of baby sound. <sighs> <sighs> You know, the expression of sound is a primal release. It's beautiful, a good thing to do. So many people struggle just with, with, with this kind of primary release systems we have available to us as mammals. So shaking the sound is profound. Let's breathe in again to the first side again. When we do that, we're going to go for a longer breath hold. We're going to go for about 30 to 32 seconds. If you need to release before that, just do it. Listen to your body. Listen to your body above me. Listen to that. We're going to breathe in now and see if that's available, okay? Because this, again, you know, 20 seconds and above is, we've already done 25 seconds if you manage to complete that one. But if that is really good to build up those carbon dioxide levels, because you're then oxygenating all your tissues and you're getting the oxygen into the mitochondria and you're building up that, the energy that you need, you're rebuilding your energy levels by doing this. Okay. So it's awesome, awesome practice. Again, whatever you want to do with your body, just get comfortable, shake out. We're going to breathe into the first side, whichever one that is for you. Breathe in, reach up. Belly breath from the first, get belly diaphragm expanding downwards, the belly comes out, and then up into the chest, ribs opening up to the side, and pushing the floor at the back up into the sternum, reach away through the foot on that side, breathe in up and open through the elbow, as it were. So open the whole side of the room, just gently relax into the floor and hold the breath again.
and release. <sighs> Shake it out. You can get crazy, a bit crazy. Where are you shaking? Where are you shaking? Right. Now it's a 35 second breath hold. So if you manage to do that with ease, now my di diaphragm didn't kick on that. I didn't get frontal nerve activity. And that's telling me that my system is really, really good in terms of stress levels right now. Okay, so if you manage to do that with ease and your diaphragm didn't kick off there, that is awesome. Just saying, all right? And if you're building up towards that, then you've got a practice here that you can take away. It's such a beautiful practice of both the release and the breath hold together, all right? Now, let's come into the other side now. So just any wiggles, get yourself spread on the ground, get real comfortable, and yeah, easy. And then take one arm up. You can bend the elbow. You don't have to reach, or you can reach if you want to, whatever feels good in your shoulders, you know? And then come into the belly breath first. Up and opening up the side of the ribs, the back, feel the back ribs opening to the floor, feel the sternum start to lift, really creating that space in the thoracic cavity. And reach up through the elbow, the hand, maybe, like the thing we do in the nagas. Now reach down through the foot, heading that foot down to the floor, breathing in, still breathing in. And then gently hold the breath. Let's see where it goes. And release. <sighs> My arms down to the side. Shake the body again. <sighs> again, that was 35 seconds. So if you if you got that far, amazing. And that's telling you your system actually is, you know, despite whatever else may be going on, if you've got that far with your breath, your system's in good shape. You can handle what's going on for you. You can deal with it. All right? There you go. Now bring your knee up. One knee up. Again, choose whichever knee you want first. Just bring the knee up. Put one, one hand wrapped around just under the knee here. Wiggle your bum on the floor. Get that really comfortable. And we'll take the other hand up and embrace around the knee, wrapping and interlacing the fingers maybe. And always come into an abdominal breath, an abdominal diaphragmatic breath. So you can really feel the breath expanding the belly here. You know? So you're bringing the knee up slightly to the side, just one leg. Reach your way through the other foot. So you can sort of reach away through the ball of the foot slightly. Yeah. You can reach away through the ball of the foot on the bent knee as well. You can engage the toe space a little bit, basically. Reach away through the ball of the foot. And you get a little, little mobility in the foot. And if that doesn't feel right, just let it drop into passivity. Either way. Okay. And you can do the same with either foot. You can either reach. And you can do a movement of both reaching and spreading the toes and relaxing and releasing. And that kind of activation release is very nice as well in the feet and the legs. Okay. At the same time as that, we're simply going to come in and just hold the knee to the side of the body. And you have your hand on your belly here. Just breathe into the belly, get the back of the neck long, breathe into the belly. And we're going to do a gentle box breathing here. In through the nose. Holding the breath in the body at the end of the inhale. No big deal, just a few seconds. And breathe out, breathe out, breathe out. Hold the breath out at the end of the exhale. Not pushing anything, but really coming into a rhythm. So not doing a 35 second hold unless that feels perfect, of course, in which case, yeah, do it. Might be five seconds. Might be six. Two. 
hold your breath in. One more box breath. That's an inhale, a hold, exhale, a hold. And just drop the knee down towards the floor. <coughs> Rest the foot on the floor. And take the hand and drape the hand on the top of the, uh, on the bottom of the thigh near the knee joint. And just engage gently in a lateral rotation that's drawing up and out of the femur bone. Make sure that feels comfortable in your hip joint. So the foot can be passive now. And the feet can be passive. And again, just a few breaths here. And breathe right down as if you're breathing into the pelvic floor. And you can feel the pelvic floor on the inhale pushing downwards and then drawing up on the exhale. So let's do a couple of breaths, just inhale and exhale here. Feel the expansion of the abdomen as the diaphragm is going all the way down. Feel the pelvic floor pushing downwards. And then breathe out. You feel the pelvic floor starting to lift. And then follow that out breath into full transverse abdominal activity so you can squeeze the breath out at the end here. No holding at the moment. Just breathing in and breathing out. Again, hand on the belly. Really, really nice. So again, it's about a six second inhale, six second exhale. And add in a breath hold now, the end of the inhale, the end of the exhale, just for a few seconds, just what feels right, it might be two seconds, it might be three, it might be one, it might be six, feel what's right. And it might be different at the end of the inhale, the end of the exhale, so find what works for you in terms of the quadrilateral of the breath there. To really give you that feeling of deep depth, depth, stillness, peace, and this kind of soft uh, level of energy, a reserve, a resource. And then release the leg, bring your knee up on an inhale, hug it back in, back up into the chest and side of the chest, reach away, play with the feet, energize the feet, mobilize the toe spaces gently and then release, and then bring the other knee up as well. Bring both knees up for a moment. Roll the body from side to side on the floor. Toes touch, bring the head up to look at the toes. Breath nice and long and steady, it might be 4-4 four, four now. Something like that, but feel the length, space in the breath. And then keep that left uh, side, uh, if you're the second side, I'd give you choice, didn't I? So second side leg. Um, keep that one tucked up and stretch the other leg away. You can come in, engage the toes again, create toe spaces again. You can reach and release, reach and release if you want to. Or you can just keep it passive, or you can keep it super active. Whatever feels right. Then lengthen the spine, take the head back, curl around that knee, tuck it up nice and easy. You can have your hand on your belly if you want to. You can hug around the knee with two hands, which is the thing that we do first of all. I'm just going to breathe into that belly and do the box breathing here on this side. And we're looking for roughly a six second inhale, six second exhale. So you want to count that, it's elephants, it's one elephant, two elephants, three elephants, four elephants, or one and, two and, three and, whatever works for you. And 
We'll find the right breath hold at the end of the inhale and the end of the exhale. Find out where it's really easy. Go for comfort on this. And letting the length of the breath hold grow from that place of comfort. Another breath here, one more breath here. And then release the leg down to the side, drop the knee down to the side. Oops. You can support underneath or put the hand on the top of the side. Again, what we did last time was drop the hand in, and gently roll that femur out and down slightly. Again, checking that feels good in your hip joint. And as a, we're getting any discomfort of compression in the back of the hip joint. So whatever feels right for you on that, okay? Again, hand on the belly. Steady inhale and exhale, first of all, without any breath hold. Feeling the pelvic floor, feeling the pelvic floor descend on the inhale, and then going to the expiratory reserve volume, which means you're going to be squeezing those tummy muscles in on the exhale now. And about six second inhale, six second exhale. Now add in the breath holds at the end of the inhale, the end, the end of the exhale and feel right. And really, really trust your body, really trust your body to decide what length of breath hold feels right. Just go with it, you know, completely go with it. This body is an incredible miracle of self-care, self-healing. Self rejuvenate, self cleaning. It's an incredible organism. Learning, really learning to trust its beauty and its power, its grace, its goodness. Stay with the breath, stay with the breath holes. You know, we're coming out of a culture that doesn't trust bodies. We've had a massive dissociation of mind and body over the last 2,000 years. And learning to really trust the living miracle of this of this fleshy intelligence. It's a profound work and a profound gift. Two more breaths here.
you lift the knee back up to the side of the chest, bring the other one up as well, bring them both up, touch the toe, big toes together, okay? squeeze the knees outwards down to the side, lift the chest up slightly off the floor, bring the face up, look towards the toes, squeeze everything together, hold it there, squeeze the breath out, hold the breath out for a minute, take the squeeze, hold the breath out, hold the breath out, squeeze all the muscles in the body with this little ball. Now release. And breathe in, plant the feet on the floor, just drop the knees onto each other for a moment. Take a breath here. Now spread your toes, spread the toes, feel them spread across the, across the floor. Open the knees up a little bit. Then tuck the tailbone down underneath, away from the head. So we're going to uh, posteriorly rotate the pelvis. That's tuck the tailbone down through between the legs. Like it's the tailbone going down, the pubic bone lifting slightly. And then get the feeling there of, of, of touching the inside of the knees. Bring the hands onto the inside of the knees. Squeeze those knees together. And then curl that pelvis up off the ground. Just micro curl. And then just lay it back down again. I'm lifting my head, don't you lift your head, I'm lifting my head and look at the screen. But you're going to breathe in here, you know, squeeze the knees together. And feel the activity in the pelvic floor. Feel when you squeeze the knees in, where you get these adductors switched on in here that instantaneously um, squeezes and lifts the urogenital triangle of the pelvic floor. You can feel that squeeze and lift, and then curl that up, pelvis up. So just want to feel these connections between the adductors, the urogenital triangle, the pelvic floor, the transverse abdominals, and that pelvic tilt playing with this array of connection in here. Which I'm sure you're already familiar with to a degree, but it's always good to come back in and feel it. Keep that breath long and steady. Do a micro breath hold at the end of the inhale, the end of the exhale if you want to, or just keep it fluid, flowing, circular breath either way. Let's start to exaggerate this movement now. So as we breathe in, we're going to start to lift the pelvis off the floor a little bit, just lifting it up. So it's coming up onto the lumbar thoracic junction. So the lumbar spine is off the floor, not going up any higher than that though. And then rolling down, curling down, and then coming right up to the floor. So lifting the spine off the floor. So we're coming on, so we're going into anterior rotation of the pelvis now. That's the tailbone pushing back down into the ground, and then lifting the whole of the spine off the floor, so up almost on the shoulders. So we're going to go this spinal flexion extension in the breath. Okay. Explain the breath again. So inhale, squeeze the knees. That kind of, that's, a, that's the adductor switching on. Feel the pelvic floor. Inhale, lift the pelvis up. Exhale, curl the pelvis down. And on that exhale, you can go all the way into the spinal extension here. There's a range of ways we can do this with the breath. We're going all the way up into the spinal extension. That's the tailbone pushing the floor, the spine off the ground. And then we're going to breathe in again. Squeeze those knees together, lift the pelvis up, the pelvic floor active here. And then exhale all the way down into the back. I'm keeping my hands on my thighs, if that works for you, it's fantastic to do that. And the four breaths like this. Now the last. Four breaths, what we're we'll doing is pulsing at the end of the movement, holding the breath out at the end of the movement, just pulsing up into the spinal extension, come up off the floor with the pelvis, coming up into that lift up, pulsing up off the ground here. Get down here. And 
all the way in the spine extension, pulsing the spine up off the floor. And you're seeing squeezing those thighs together, pushing knees away, lifting the arms up, pulsing up off the back. Two more breaths like this. Further down, exhaling, 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 going up into spinal extension, pulsing, pulsing. Allowing the pelvis up, lifting up, passing up. Last breath here, come up, lifting the spine of the floor, passing upwards. Very last one, coming up now, it's the last one. Up now, breathing in, lifting up, pulsing up off the ground. Exhaling, lower the spine down. Exhaling, 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 tucking the tail. Lifting the spine of the floor, complete the exhalation, pulse into this movement, and release. Let the spine go onto the ground, drop the knees together, take three breaths. Feels good, then the hum will make some sound on the exhale, and the humming, quiet humming, or a little bit of sound is always good. We plant the feet again, get those knees opened up a little bit, let the adductors switched on, feel that neurogenital triangle activity. So inhale. Get that activity in the adductors, feel the pelvic floor drawing up, and then curl the pelvis, exhale, push the knees away, come up into the half, this half back bend like this, lift up onto the shoulders, right up at the top of the shoulders, have your hands on your waist here to support if you want to. And then take your arms down on the floor, and press the hands into the ground. So bring it here. And then just pulsing the chest up off the floor, pushing the shoulders into the ground, back the head into the ground, lifting and pulsing with the breath. Steady six, six breath, continuously gently pulsing on the inhale and the exhale, lifting up. Again. And then softly lowering down, breathing out, breathing out, breathing out, lowering that spine back down. Back down, back down, back down. Good, really good. <coughs> Bring your knees back up to the chest, curl them in. Reach the hands behind the head, stretch them away. Wiggle the pelvis from side to side, but your spine feels really nice on the ground. Your bum feels good, that feels so supportive and strong and comfortable. We're going to breathe in, bring the knees up to the towards the nose. We keep the toes pointing away, so you're not going to take the feet up into the sky to start with. And again, if you can't get all the way up, it doesn't matter, just do what you can do. Right, it's all good. It really is. All this room is good. Then breath here, we're going to bring the knees up and see if you can lift the knees up. Towards the fence. And if you can just come a little bit way up, just come a little bit way up. And we're going to roll back down again. Roll it down slowly, slowly, slowly. So breath in. Breath out. I notice my hands are interlaced here. They sort of kind of automatically went into that. So we're sharing that like this and reaching up and down. Shoulder blades slightly down. Breathing in, curling up. Bring it out, roll and gently down. Gently, slow, 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 roll down. And again, about aiming for about you know, four to six seconds lift, might be a bit shorter on the lift, and as long as long as you can on the lower. Just twice more like this. So that's good. Twice more. One more. Uh, 
uh, the second one. Start with a lift again, breathing in, lift again, that's a steady. Stabilize the shoulders, push the shoulders into the floor, make sure the head and neck and jaw are relaxed and easy. Point the toes to the ceiling and gently bring the knees towards the forehead and just stabilize and breathe there. As good as you can, as long as you can, back to four, back to six seconds. A little bit less, who knows? Let's find out. So gradually bring the knees out to the side of the face, bring them in towards the armpits. The knees are still bent. Those shoulders into the floor. So it's almost like you're trying to get back the neck off the floor. And you can move your head easily from side to side and your breath is steady. And then slowly drop the knees down towards the floor. Open the knees wide. Keep the knees bent to start with. Make sure it all feels good. And down if it doesn't. Drop it down on an exhale if it doesn't. And if that all feels good, then just start to straighten the legs out. Now, if you spread your hands out like this, spread your arms and your hands out, and then spread the toes out, you're going to breathe in and just lift the feet up, about a foot, and then exhale, and then lower the feet gently down. So you're going to breathe the legs up on the inhale, pressing the shoulders into the floor, and then breathe out. Slowly bring those feet back down towards the hands. Don't actually touch them necessarily. They might touch. They don't have to. It's a very slow movement. Legs and feet just moving a little bit up and down. So breathing into that energized lift. Using the muscles of the arms, the back, the legs to feel the lift. So the whole body can lift at the end. And then exhale. Very softly, very gently down. One more time, breathing in. Gently reach up and open, hold it now, hold the breath. Energize the whole body, feel the toe spaces, feel the hand spaces, feel the whole body active. And then breathe out, relax, bend the knees, bring the arms up above the head, and slowly roll down. And slowly you can go. Feet down to the floor, drop them down, rest the knees on each other, bring your arms down along the side of the body, rest your hands on your belly, take a couple of breaths into the belly. Take the feet off the floor, bring the knees up, and we're going to curl over onto the left hand side of the body. Just take the thighs down to the left hand side. So that's fine. Okay, so just curled up on your left hand side, okay. Just waking up from a curled up sleep. Embryonic position. Mm -hmm. Breath steady and long here, staying attentive to the breath and keeping that length and space in the breath. And for a six second inhale or exhale, and, and maybe even more, maybe it's eight by now. Maybe it's still a bit shorter, it doesn't matter. Wherever your breath will go to, your body's doing this, and the body will trust in the body and just engaging in this deep sense of relaxation of the movement. Mm. 
me breathe in from here. Bring your hand up onto your chest. So one hand on the chest, lifting the upper shoulder upwards. So lifting that shoulder up. <coughs> the lower shoulder's foundation. Hips are foundation. And breathe in and start to expand over gently into a twist. So what we're going to do here is start taking the shoulder blades on this upward side. Back down to the floor behind. There's a hand on the chest, hand on the sternum here. So the shoulder blades going down. If the knees lift off each other, it doesn't matter. Keep the feet in contact, and that doesn't matter if the knees lift. They might or might not. Now when the shoulder blade on this opposite side to where we started touches the floor, then stretch that arm out slowly, lower it down to the ground. Take some breaths into the belly, really beautiful, full abdominal breaths. Six second inhale, six second exhale. You can feel the side ribs, ribs six to ten, the bottom ribs opening as well. Take a full exhale. That's a squeeze of the transverse abdominals in at the end of the exhale. Going to come into the box breathing again. So that's the inhale. Then the breath hold. Again, trusting your body to give you the breath hold that's going to be the right one for you in terms of length. Okay. And exhale about six seconds, really lengthening that exhale. So voluntarily, consciously lengthening the exhale, but letting the breath hold be decided by the body. Both breath holds. End of the inhale, the end of the exhale. So we're lengthening the inhale and the exhale consciously to voluntary control of the breath, letting the breath holds be come from the place of somatic intelligence. I got this from watching sloths at the zoo. I was watching some sloths breathing at the zoo. And they do like a natural box breath. And I was watching them. They're just laying around on the plant branches like this. They're doing this natural box breath. But it's the hearty breathing. It's really slow, big belly inhale. And then his breath would just hold. And then there'd be a slow exhale. The breath would just hold again. I thought, that's, that's, just, that's amazing. I was watching them. I thought, they were so chilled out. Sloths are like that, you know what I mean? We're finding the inner sloth here. Still, spacious, peaceful. Chill zone. A bit more breaths here. Last breath. Mm -hmm. Breathe in. Let's make some sound on the exhale. Mm -hmm. Start leaning back from the hand on the uh, side opposite the knees. The knees are both to one side. So bring my hand up. Start wiggling your fingers on this side. And weave that hand through the air like it's a little fish swimming. And bring it back over the side of the body, bring it up over slowly. Bring the shoulder up with it. <coughs> and curl back up again for a moment. <coughs> and just like 
It was like a dog nestling itself into the ground. If you ever watch a dog or a cat settle on the floor, they've got to find a way to get all their bones comfortable on the ground. So find that way of being super comfortable on the floor for a moment. Until you can feel like your skeleton's happy on the earth. Take three slow breaths here. And start curling back the spine, pushing back into the spine, spinal the curl, bringing the knees up higher towards the chest, coming up off the floor, and using this elbow to push down in, rolling up, coming up again, wrapping the arms around the legs, looking towards the toes, squeezing the breath out, squeezing the whole body, whole body squeeze. Breathe in, lengthen the chest back onto the floor, the upper chest back onto the floor, head down onto the ground. And then breathe out. Roll the whole body over onto the snake side, onto the opposite side. Curling over. Again, just taking a couple of breaths on the side. Just taking that six, six breath. And then bring the hand onto the chest. Breathe in. Lift the chest, the chest up, so you're using the pivot of the shoulder on the floor as a fulcrum here. And lift up and open. And engage that shoulder blade, the second shoulder blade, this one, um, away from the floor. Back down to the ground before the arm comes down. Now, in that process, if the knee lift, that's not like I said before, that's absolutely fine. Keep the feet touching, keep the toes touching. You know, put it around, so this one thing. So the toes and knees can touch, that's absolutely fine. We're coming back in. Hand on shoulders, so the shoulder blade's going to come down fully first. The shoulder's going to come down with that hand on the chest. So keep it really easy at the shoulder. And then stretch that arm out. Lay that arm on the ground. Hand on the belly. And start with that six, six breaths, just for three breaths or so. Then add in the box breath. So we're going to add in the breath holds at the end of the inhale and exhale. Okay, we're creating that length of six or so six second or maybe even slightly longer inhale and exhale. We're doing that with the, with, the, with the cerebral cortex. We're taking voluntary control of the breath, but we're letting the body decide how long those breath holds are just by feeling what's right. So we're not planning a six second hold or anything, we're just feeling. Even what's right, we're trusting that somatic intelligence.
relaxing into those breath holds, listening, feeling the body, feeling its ease and comfort. Two more breaths in now. Wiggle the fingers of the extended hand away from the legs, the ones pointed away from the legs. Wiggle the fingers and feel that voluntary movement there. And start weaving that hand up into the air, like I said, like a little fish or something like that. And we'll start coming up here and bringing that shoulder up, the arm up off the floor, the shoulder weaves up off the floor. We're going to use that arm to lift the shoulder up off the pivot of the lower shoulder. And then reach over, reach the upper body over, bring the palms together. Curl up, curl up, curl up into this fetal position again. A few breaths. And breathe in and exhale. Just make some gentle sound. Maybe a vowel sound. It be an R or a B or a B or a B, something like that. Now, um, reach out with your top knee, reach the top knee up slightly and out, and reach your foot out. So, stretching your foot away, but you see me doing this, I do it. So, taking the foot away like this, and then rolling your weight over onto your same side elbow, coming up easy and simply onto your elbows, your hands, your knees, and your feet. And slightly nice, wide knee space. Very simply here, we're going to come in with this very wide kneeling. Brace the palms together underneath the forehead and rest the forehead on the palm. Put it in the exhale. It's really interesting as well if you hum on the exhale, then get the sense of squeezing the knees together so you don't look up for that. This is spreading the knees slightly over the air. And on the exhale, just gently squeeze the arms of the knees as if you're squeezing towards each other as you're having on the exhale. There's a sense of gentle lift off the forehead. The relaxation into the forehead. Subtle movement. (laughs) 
and lift up the head, down the forearms. So bring your pelvis a little bit, and the hands. <coughs> Roll the shoulder blades with breath. Bring the chest up a little. So the in-breath here, we're going to breathe in, lift the chest up to the spinal extension, knees still really wide. Exhale. Softly curl back. The head, lifting the heart. Exhale, curling back. Two more breaths in. And then take your weight on your hands. Lift the pelvis up. Bring the knees in towards each other. We're just crawling around for a moment. Just take a moment to crawl. This kind of primal movement stuff is so good. In terms of recalibrating. Bring the body back into a sense of its own intelligence. We all went through crawling, or nearly ever bit of it. It's so therapeutic just to crawl, just to let the body remember its own developmental journey. And then step one knee forwards in the crawling position. We're going to step one foot forward, I beg your pardon. One foot forwards. So both palms on the floor here. One foot forward. You can turn the toes un, um, underneath on the back foot. So the foot's going to go back on the ground here. Very easy again, very easy into the, into the lunge here. So it's supported. You can come up on blocks here if you want to. There's no blocks you can come in here. So you can come up on blocks on the hands if you want. I've got quite long arms, so I don't need them so much. The very kind of rango tang type arms, very long limbs. So a bit of blocks here could be very helpful to get a sense more of extension, extension here. So we're going to come into flexion on this hip, extension on this side. Very easy. Again, softly supported. On the in-breath. Again, coming into that spinal extension, drawing the heart and the face up and open, keeping the back of the neck long. Ah, oh, and you're relaxed. And then curling back. Curling back, curling back on the exhale. Straightening this leg out. It doesn't have to straighten all the way, but straightening it out a little bit. Going forward, using the weight on the hands as a guide here. Coming forward and in and up. Pulsing into the range at the end. And we can add in the box breathing here as well. <coughs> So we can use the exhale here. Come in and just gently hold the breath for just a few seconds and just pulse into this movement here, this place. Come forward with the inhale. All the way forward, lifting the heart, lifting the head, lengthening the back of the neck, and then hold the breath gently here and just pulse into this movement. Inhaling forwards, inhaling, inhaling. Holding the breath and pulsing now. Last breath this side. Really out, really out, pulsing, holding breath again. Change the legs. Same on this side. The box breaths are going to come in, holding the breath here, gently pulsing back of the head up, heart up,
head, breathing in, pulsing, holding your breath, and that up to back. So back, last breath, and coming back into this position. Bring your knees up, just crawling a few steps, finding a nice position to be in, coming to kneeling or cross legged sitting. Make sure you're comfortable, you'll be up on a bolster if you need be, so you can lift up on a bolster if you need be, just make sure you're super relaxed. <laughs> Wrap it in a blanket if you want to. Close or half close your eyes. Back the neck long, shoulder blades down the spine, wiggle them down if you need to at all. Shake the head and jaw just to start with, get that extra relaxation around the jaw muscles, around the face. <laughs> Pounding in place behind the top teeth. Into the box breath here. And extending the inhale and the exhale, so getting towards or beyond, depending on how your body is working at the moment. Trusting your body, you're working with, working towards a six second inhale and exhale. Some of you may be working beyond that, maybe working eight second inhale and exhale. And whatever's, whatever's workable and comfortable, we're looking for the nectar here, we're looking for the bliss. And then really trusting the body on the inhale and exhale. So we're not going to do the same count on the breath holds, it's going to get, give that to your body to work it out, to decide. And just really trust it and find that superb trust in the body. And it might change, but that's okay too. It might be different on the inhale and exhale. It might be different one inhale hold from the next inhale hold. It's all good. Uh, three or four breaths. The last four breaths, we're going to do a humming breath, so we're going to breathe in now. Breathe out, make some sound, hum's good. 
And you can play with the vibrational now. I mean, you can get behind your teeth, behind your nose, in between your eyes, into the middle of your brain, down into your chest. Yeah, you can get down to your thighs. You can get play with really play with the hum and the vibration of where it can reach to in your body. The depth, the quality, the tone, all these different pieces of humming. It. It's profound practice in its terms of its possibilities. Mm -hmm. I love getting it into the heart, behind the heart here, and into the middle of the brain at the same time. If you try that, it's just such fun. It's so therapeutic. Let go of control of the breath. Press back the brain stem. Thank you.